The power of the explosion was so strong it blew the roof straight up in the air. And as the video ended, the power went out. The home where it happened. But this is your home? Yeah, this is my home. This woman, still shaken, didn't want to take any questions, which is understandable. But neighbors were talking because the blast was so strong in the neighborhood. Just heard like a bomb sound. It was really strong. We felt like our house was going to go down. Felt like a truck slammed into our house. And you see the, you see the frame? Yeah, right here. Jose Zavala's door was damaged. His ceiling dropped. He thought the big one had hit. I told my family to just just get down, get on the floor. Did you get down on the floor? Yeah. And look in his utility room, more ceiling damage. You're OK? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, okay. right now I'm OK. Across the street. This c cable broke in, uh, down. This woman's backyard utility lines came down. Edison quickly came out to fix them. And while all of this was going on, Camilla Adello grabbed her phone and started taking videos. One person was injured. Camilla says it looked like he had burns on his arms. He's believed to be in his late 30s. He was taken to a local hospital. Well, I saw all the people running to the house because the explosion and the, our house, it was like shaking and very, very, very scared. So now after this, fire investigators have a lot of work on their hands. Our goal is, is right now is to determine the cause to make sure that we've assessed the area for any type of hazards or potential hazards, and then from there to make sure all the neighborhood is safe.